What's going on everybody? My name is Tomas and this is the Idol 3 made by Alcatel One Touch. This was sent to me for review so what you see here is not what you will see in the retail packaging. The difference is uh, the presentation wise and the press kit that's included on the USB drive. Alcatel does a great job presenting the main features of their budget cell phone. Cracking right into the box you get a wall adapter and this is a standard 100 to 240 volt input and a 5 volt output. Another thing that is highly appreciated on my end is a SIM tray ejection tool. I know this comes pretty standard in most cell phone packaging but when you don't have one or the manufacturer doesn't provide you one it becomes a, a massive treasure hunt and you just appreciate them providing it to you. The Idol 3 has a, a strong theme of JBL audio so they provide you some earbuds made by JBL with, with a flat ribbon non-tangle design cable. And these are some great earbuds. Moving right along, you're provided the obligatory micro USB cable, um, which everybody probably has 10 of. And then finally, within this packaging, you're given the press kit, and this will not be included in retail packaging. Looking more closely at the phone, you're given a 5.5 full HD, which is 1080p, Technicolor enhanced display. And I was really floored by the color reproduction on this screen. It plays a key role in the immersion when you're consuming media on this cell phone. While manipulating this phone, you'll notice something very different, and that is button placement. The power on and off or sleep-wake button is located on the top left-hand corner, and the volume rocker is located exactly where other phone manufacturers have decided to place their power on and off buttons. So it's going to be a, a really weird dynamic in adjusting to manipulating this phone. Um, one bad thing is is that you're so used to the power button being there and then when you make an adjustment the phone is kind of slippery so you you may have a tendency to drop it so just be careful and just be aware that this is something you will probably have to make an adjustment to now this 5.5 inch 1080p display is powered by Android 5.0.2 lollipop in addition to that this handset has a 29 10 milliamp hour battery so you should have no issue at all getting through the day Going along with the build quality, this thing feels fantastic in the hand. As soon as you pick it up, you know you're holding a flagship device. And you feel really good about it because you didn't pay a flagship price. The highlight of this phone is the speakers. They are the element in which you are immersed in media consumption when it comes to that. Now, like I said, the screen plays an element to that, but the speakers sound absolutely fantastic. These speakers do not belong in a budget phone, and I don't know whatever witchcraft Alcatel One Touch is practicing to put this kind of quality into a handset that costs $249 off contract is, but they need to keep doing it. Now with the speakers, each speaker houses a microphone, so this phone features a reversible UI setting, so whatever orientation you pick your phone up, you are able to answer a phone call as long as you have that setting enabled, which is awesome. It's thinking outside of the box and giving you options when you have such a large device with dual front facing speakers. Now the icing on the cake is the camera. This thing has a 13 megapixel rear facing shooter as well as an 8 megapixel front facing camera and they shoot fantastic photos and the videos that it captures are absolutely amazing. Let's go ahead and get into some samples. In line with testing the cameras on this phone you can get a taste of how the rear facing camera is uh, doing. The 13 megapixel on the Idol 3 does a pretty good job on capturing video. 
This is a good opportunity for you to hear how the audio is accepted as well. We're going to go ahead and go from facing direct sunlight to adjusting on the other end. Let me know what you think. What better time than now to test the front facing camera on the Idle 3? At this point, I want to give you a representation of the audio that you can expect on this cell phone. Also, the different switches and light dynamics and seeing how the lens performs when I'm switching uh, from being faced right to the sun and then facing the sun, but the, the lens is not doing so. Let me know what you think down in the comments section below. And to start closing out this video, the storage on the Idle 3 is stated on paper at 16 gigabytes, but it shows that it has around 11 and you have about eight gigabytes of storage available to the user. The good thing is, is that this has expandable storage up to 128 gigabytes uh, via micro SD card. Ultimately, you cannot lose if you decided to go with this phone. You get flagship specs without having to pay the flagship price. The Idle 3 has definitely earned a spot in my pocket for a while. Well, that about does it for me in this one, everybody. If you like this video, please feel free to give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down and let me know what it is that I can do to improve. In addition to that, feel free to check out my channel. And if you see some works there or if you like what I've done here and you haven't subscribed, feel free to do so. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Take care.